What's up everybody? I'm Ryan and I'm hanging out here at my guitar shop, Ryan Fowler's Guitar Experience. And today we are checking out the JHS Whitey Tidy Mini Compressor. This is the, uh, the latest offering from JHS and just like all their other pedals, it is a great sounding, very usable pedal. So uh, before I dig into this specific compressor pedal, I want to talk a little bit about what a compressor does because there's a lot of myths, a lot of people don't understand them. So first off, uh, anytime you're listening to anything on a record, generally speaking, whether it's electric guitar, acoustic guitar, vocals, drums, bass, you name it, there's always a compressor somewhere in that signal chain. And usually there's more than one. So if you're recording an electric guitar, usually you've got your microphone plugged into an EQ or a compressor, then going into your DAW, you know, Pro Tools, Cubase, whatever it is you're recording into. Um, so that's the first spot where there's usually some compression on a record. Then usually when it's being mixed, a little bit more compression is applied, and then in the mastering process, they'll apply a little bit more. And the reason for that is because compression is a tool that you can use to kind of smooth out the dynamics in an instrument, or in a, in a sound, any instrument really. So if you consider the dynamic range of your electric guitar to be here, once you engage a compressor, depending on how heavy or you know how wet you have the signal compressed, it shrinks your dynamic range down to here. Um, and that's useful for a couple of reasons when you're talking about playing live guitar. So the first thing that uh, that really helps with is if you're performing live, you know, maybe you're real amped up, maybe there's a whole bunch of, you know, big audience, whatever, adrenaline can kind of get the best of you. So when you're playing, you know, if you just listen to a clean electric guitar, and this is a, uh, by the way, this is a PRS CE24 uh, Cloudburst, which is sparkly and awesome, and we're going to do a Vox AC15. Uh, I think this is the anniversary version of the AC15, so it's a really nice one. Um, so anyway, if you listen to your guitar live, um, or just any clean electric guitar, your dynamic range is pretty big. So what that means is you can play really quiet, or you can play really loud. And your amp is gonna be quiet or loud, depending on how, how hard you, you know, hit the strings. Um, while having that full dynamic range is really nice and it's very expressive, in a live setting, a lot of times that can be a real negative. You know, maybe you're beating your, your guitar up really hard, or you're a little nervous, so you're playing kind of quiet, then your audience can't hear you. So when you use a compressor pedal like this one, uh, you can turn the, uh, turn the effect on, and it's gonna kind of shrink that dynamic range. So let me show you what that sounds like. So again, you know, no compressor. Now if we turn it on to kind of a moderate setting, this pedal's got three different knobs. You've got a volume, compression, which is a blend of a couple of different functions on a compressor, and then a blend knob. So volume is pretty self-explanatory, that's your output gain. Uh, the compression knob is a blend of input gain and also ratio. So on a typical compressor, you have compressor ratios. So you can shrink the sound from two to one, four to one, 16 to one, 32 to one, you know, whatever you decide you wanna do. And uh, for guitar players, they just kinda dumb it down a little bit. So you just have a compressor knob. And then the last one is this blend knob right here. So the blend knob, when it's all the way clockwise or all the way up, then you have the full dry signal. When it's all the way down, you have the compressed signal. And when you have it right in the middle like that, that's basically right in the middle. So you've got half dry, half compressed. And what you'll hear is it starts to remove some of those dynamics. So what that means is, uh, you know, generally it just kind of tightens up your guitar sound a little bit and takes a little bit of the, uh, you know, kind of the expressiveness away, but in a good way. Um, a compressor is a tough pedal to, you know, kind of check out over a video because a lot of times it's more something that you feel than something that you hear. So I'm kind of being a little bit overly dramatic when I'm playing really soft and then playing really loud here. So that would be the first setting, um, you know, something like that, which is just a, you know, I would consider it to be a moderate compressed sound. This pedal also does a really good job at the Nashville sound. Uh, the Nashville sound, if you listen to a lot of country records, you'll hear a nice bright twanging guitar, um, and then they do what's kind of called squashing it, which means that it's got a lot of compression applied to it. And when you apply a lot of compression, it really brings out the attack and kind of the twang in the instrument. So sticking just with this you know, bridge humbucker, clean, same amp, all that stuff, if we turn this compression knob up some, and then we, back our, we turn our blend a little bit closer towards compressed, now we start to get into that Nashville squash sound.
a little bit closer towards almost like normalizing the sound of the guitar. So if you're doing like a chicken picking thing or something like that, you know. So that'd be kind of a more of a squashed compressed sound. And again, you know, you'll notice that the this particular compressor doesn't really color the sound at all. It's really just kind of, you know, shrinking that dynamic range like we talked about earlier. So the third thing that I'm going to show you with this pedal um, is a way to use it as kind of like a, a boost uh, kicker, you know, just a way to kind of hit the front end of your amp a little bit harder. So for our purposes, since we're just going clean into an amp, um, if we go all the way to the blend side here and then we turn the compression all the way down, now it's going to act like a boost pedal. So again, clean, boost pedal. When you set a compressor pedal up like this, this is a very telling way to know if you've got a good sounding compressor. Because when you set it up like this, if, you're, if it's doing a nice job of just kind of hitting the front end of the amp a little harder, you should hear all these nice warm harmonics and it just, should, just, should just start to kind of get squishy and you know start to feel a little more rock and roll. And then if we keep going on the volume, then we're just pushing even more and we're getting more and more dramatic with our boost and our front end gain bump. So there you go. That is the JHS Whitey Tidy Mini Compressor in a nutshell. Be sure to give us a follow online, uh, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all the, uh, all the social media platforms. We're on all of them so you can see what comes in and out of the shop on a daily basis. Uh, also, you can visit our website at www.ryansguitarexperience.com. You can order this pedal right there or you can stop into our store which is located in Towson, Maryland. Thanks for checking out the video and we'll see you soon.